Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install R and R Studio on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for R download. And the first link which will appear here will be from rproject.org. You can directly see this link download R at the time of making this video r 4.3.1 is the latest version for windows right so if this link is visible just click on this link otherwise you can also go to r-project.org link so i'm going to go to this uh, website and once uh, this rproject.org website is open directly you can see this uh, download r link here also you can see download and then you can see C-R-A-N here, which is the CRAN mirror. So you can click on this uh, link, which says CRAN. And here you will see various different mirrors from where you can download R. So you have this uh, Zero Cloud, which is from uh, r-project.org. And then you have all the countries. So you might want to go to the country nearest to your location and then you can download R from that mirror right if you are not sure just click on the first link and then uh, uh, you can see automatic redirection to server worldwide right so let me click on the first link here and then you can see download R for Windows link so I'm going to click on this link here and here you will see a few options i'm going to choose the first option which says base and once again i'm going to click on download r version 4.3.1 for windows and once uh, our exe file is downloaded i'm going to click on this exe file and let me minimize uh, these windows and when you click on this executable file the first message you will see on your windows is this one which says do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device i will click on yes and then the installation of r will start so first of all choose the language i will uh, choose the english language which is the default one you can also choose from all these other languages and here you can read these license terms and conditions i'm going to click on next this will be the location where R will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next. And then on this next window, you need to select components. I will leave everything as default. Click on next. And here on the next window, it says startup options. Please specify yes or no, then click next. So it says, do you want to customize the startup options? I will accept the default and then click on next and then you have a select start menu I will leave it as a default and then click on next and then select additional tasks once again I will select the default options you also have the option to create the quick launch shortcut I can do that and then click on next and now you can see the installation has been started so just wait for this process to reach to the 100% mark and after some time, you will see this message which says completing the R for Windows and the version is 4.3.1 at the time of making this video. So now also you will see this R icon which is created on your desktop. And when you click on uh, the start menu, you can see R is listed here also, right? So click on finish and let's proceed to install R Studio. Before that, if you want to check you can open your command prompt or you can directly click on this uh, icon which is for R so I'm going to click on this uh, R and then you can see R GUI has been started and this R console is started right so here you can uh, for example print something so I can just write uh, print and in the double quotes uh, I can write hello world here and then i can just close these uh, brackets and then click on enter and it prints hello world right so this is working now let's try to uh, install arch studio so i'm going to close this and i will say 
No. So to download R Studio, you can uh, open your favorite browser and search for R Studio. And the first link which will appear here will be from posit.co forward slash downloads. You can click on this link. If you see rstudio.com here, that is also from the same uh, company. So you can either click on posit.co or you can click on rstudio.com. So I'm going to click on rstudio.com here and you can see it says pardon the interruption as we migrate content to our new website which is posit.co. So I'm going to click on that link, right? So here on posit.co website, I can see this download rstudio button. So I'm going to click on this uh, button. Here I can see rstudio desktop. So I can click on download rstudio. And then here you can see the first step we have already done, which is installation of R. And the next step we are doing. So I'm going to click on download rstudio for Windows which is going to start the download of this RStudio executable file. And once this RStudio executable file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this and then let me minimize the browser. And once again, you will see this message. Just click on yes here. And now you can see this window. Just click on next here. And this will be the location. So I'm going to leave it as default. Click on next. And then once again, I'm going to leave everything as default and then click on install which is going to start the installation process. So just wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. And now it's finished. So let's click on finish button, which is going to uh, finish the installation of RStudio. Once RStudio is installed, you can click on your start menu. You can directly see uh, this RStudio here, or you can go to all apps and then just uh, go to R Studio from there also. So I can see R Studio from here. Click on R Studio. Once you uh, click on R Studio, it's going to be started. So first of all, there is some one time setup which is required. So it says, please select the version of R to use. I'm going to choose the default version, which is use machines default 64 bit version and then click on OK. And you can see our studio is starting and it's been started. So for the first time, it says enable automatic crash reporting. I will say yes. And now our studio has been started here. Also, once again, you can just write print and you can see you have IntelliSense and you also have uh, suggestions what this function is going to do, right? So I'm going to choose print. And then here I'm going to write hello world here and then press enter and it prints hello world, right? So this is also working. If you want to create a new R file, click on this new file and then click on R script. And then I can once again type print here. And once again, I can just write hello and then world and then you can uh, save your file so you can see the file is not saved so i can uh, just first of all save this file so i can click on save button and then choose your location where you want to save this file so i will create a new folder and i will name it as r uh, apps for example and then i will name my file as test you can see the type is dot r automatically so click on save and then this test dot r file is created right so once this file is created i can see this run uh, button which says uh, run the current line or selection so i can click on run and then i can see the output on the console here you can see i can even uh, change this code and once again run this and then i can see the output here okay and also on the right hand side, you can see uh, all the folder structure and directories, plots, package, help, viewer and presentation. And you can also see the global environments here, right? So now 
you can start using R with R Studio on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.